Last time on Frightville, Horror Swamp, an insane scientist teleports a busload of teenage girls into the Frightville Swamp, intending to use them for test subjects in a bizarre scheme to create plant-human hybrids. As the word gradually gets out that the swamp has the girls in it, the various denizens of the Frightville close in, including the Creeps family and a family of cannibals who passively wait for meals to come by. Hungry alligators likewise find the girls to be tasty meals coming through the swamp. Meanwhile, the Dixie Bells wait anxiously for the girls to arrive, unaware that they are in the swamp where humans are at the bottom, not the top of the food chain. And now, the conclusion of Frightville, Horror Swamp. I just got word that the bus that was carrying those girls has been found 50 miles away. It was burned out, and no bodies were found. Do the police have any leads? I hope so. No they don't. They are scouring the area around where the bus was found but so far nothing. That's depressing. I was so looking forward to meeting them. I wonder what could have happened. So was I. We can all pray for their safe return. I also heard on the news that people have been reporting strange creatures, half plant, half human out in town. We are running a little low on time. That concert in the park is what I mean. We need to get changed. Okay girls let's get changed, and we'll head out to the park.
So what did you think? Those Dixie Bells are the best. This town has gotten lively since they came here. I have heard that they have quite a school there. It's a school for teenage girls. What do they do there? Anything special? It's a dance school for girls. I might visit it sometime. I have a niece that might be interested. Hey, I have a stereo. We can play some bluegrass music and try some dancing. Great. Let's go up on the stage. We'll shake it loose. Ah! <laughs> 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 
This looks like some kind of a lab. Don't go inside yet, Jane. Your mother and I are going to go scout around. Stay near here, Jane. We'll be back shortly. What if I spot a mortal? Can I take them? We are looking for the girls lost in the swamp. If you are hungry, go ahead. I have heard that the creatures have been seen out in town. Why did you release them? Some of them may have escaped from their pen. The council will not be pleased. They were not supposed to be released yet. I need to head away from this swamp. It seems to be interfering with my phone. I will be right back. Tell me why you are here. Were you on the bus? I have nothing to say to you.
I have plenty of time. I can do this slowly. I think I hear Jane screaming. Your presence has been detected and recorded. Thank you. I will take her. Go get Jane. Be careful. Your presence has been <laughs> and recorded. Thank you. Ah! 
Get away from my daughter, you creep. Jane, are you okay? I can get up. I will be okay in a minute. It was actually kind of fun. Come on, Jane. Transform. Let's teach this mortal a lesson.
Hey there is a house. We can get help. Look two girls are over there. Let's go to them. We're lost. Can you help us please? Sure we can. We are not far from the road. Phones don't work well here. Who are you? Where did you come from? We were on a bus. It caught fire and burned up. There are many of us here. We need help. I will take them to the police. We'll get them some help. Now you are telling me that these two girls are from the missing bus? Yes they are. I don't know how they got here. You are aware aren't you that the bus was last seen 15 miles away? That was the last time anyone on it contacted someone. We think it disappeared. Honestly officer we are from that bus. There are many more in the swamp. Yes we are. We don't know how we got here. Now you girls shouldn't be making things up. I can put you in jail for doing that. But we are not making things up. Honest. There are many others who need help. I want you girls to go home. I will let this go this time. Stop making things up. You are a mean man and a bad cop. Go home and get out of here or I will spank you myself. I am sorry. I was not expecting that reaction. So where do we go? There is an all-girl band and they run a school. They are called the Dixie Bells. I am a dancer and I might be able to talk to them. I told you girls to go home. Who is this? I am Patsy from the Dixie Bells. These girls are frightened and they need help. They have identification. I am satisfied that they are from the bus that vanished. I told these girls to stop making things up. Now they involve you in their fantasy. I have heard about you troublemaking Dixie Bells. How can you turn your back on these girls? What kind of monster are you? Now you get out of here before I lock you up. I know a reporter. We'll appeal to the public for help. It's obvious we'll get none here. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Channel 8 News. I am reporter Sally Doan. 
With me is Patsy McGuire of the Dixie Bells who run the Frightville Dance School. Also with us are two teenage girls who had been lost in the swamp, but were aided by two local dancers. Patsy? Their bus is reputed to have been lost 50 miles away, but somehow they wound up lost in the Frightville swamp. Through our school we checked their identification and have contacted their parents. Didn't you contact the sheriff's department and get their help? Yes I did. The sheriff seemed completely unwilling to help, despite our belief that there may be dozens more in the Frightville swamp. That sounds unbelievable. Why would the sheriff not want to help? I don't know. It just makes no sense. This is why I am calling on Frightville citizens to help comb the swamp for occupants of the bus. We believe there may be two dozen or more. Is there anything news aid can do to help? Yes you can. Help us get out the word about what has happened. Okay men we are looking for lost teenage girls and women. Watch for gators. There are also reports of strange creatures. Phones don't work well out here. Use radios. It looks like we are close to the edge. There is a house. I am stuck with my foot in a trap. Try to get me out of here. It hurts. I need a stick for a lever.
I think that did it. The teams are not finding any more girls. The word just came in. The cops are moving in with SWAT teams to kill the beasties in the swamp that people have seen. Let's get out of here. Welcome to Channel 8 News, I am Sally Doan. With me is child psychologist Mary Kappa and the two dancers who help find the girls lost in the Frightville Swamp. Mary, what effect do you think will this experience on the girls? Well, it is going to be very bad for most of them. They were terrorized by strange creatures, and a few were eaten by alligators. How many survived? Do you know? The authorities have not fully contacted everyone's parents, so we don't know any real numbers yet. 
Do you girls have anything that you would like to say? I just wanted to extend my best wishes to the girls and their families. I would also like to do that. We need to also mention the Dixie Bells for helping us with this. Now tell us about these dresses that you are wearing. Are you about to perform? Yes we are. The Dixie Bells are doing a concert at the public stage. After that, we will do an Irish jig. Well I think you girls look lovely. I am looking forward to your performance. This is Sally Doan from Channel 8 News. With me is the mayor, one of the young dancers involved with this and Patsy McGuire of the Dixie Bells. I believe that you have something for Patsy, Mr. Mayor. Yes I do. From a grateful community to the Dixie Bells. I award both you and the young dancers who helped get many young girls rescued from the Frightville Swamp Certificates of Appreciation. Unfortunately the sheriff has been replaced due to incompetence. Your actions saved many lives and you are a credit to the community. Thank you Mayor. We are glad to be of assistance. The tragedy in the swamp diminishes us all. I want to extend my condolences to the families who lost loved ones. Now I believe that you have some entertainment for us? Yes we do. We thought it only fair that we have these young dancers up on the stage. Julie what do you have for us, before we do a closing song? I appreciate your allowing us to do this. We have an Irish jig for you today. Thank you. Everybody just sit back and enjoy the show.